guys, today we're going to make a card using the Cricut and we're going to be using the Hello Kitty cartridge and I'm going to be doing the strawberry which is on page 32. Now I'm not going to be cutting out the main strawberry here because I actually want it in the two pieces so I'm actually going to go to the section that says clothes and I'm going to cut out the bottom part and then the shift the top part and then we'll sh I'll show you why I'm doing it like that in a minute so here we go let's cut out so first of all we're going to press the strawberry then we're going to press the close feature uh, there then it comes up on the screen here so I know it's the right one and then I'm going to press cut by the way I've set it at three inches all cut out so now we'll go across the table and start assembling the card okay so here's our pieces of our strawberry um, we're actually going to set those to one side for the moment because we don't need those so put those to one side this is my base card it's a pearlescent pink card let me just zoom out a little bit for you and I've already done the inside I've just matted it up with a bit of pattern paper and then some um, plain card some people can write on it so on the outside we're going to put some matting and layering so let, again let's put that piece of card to one side for a minute and I've already pre-cut a white piece to mat onto there and then I'm going to put that there and another little piece underneath that I'm going to do a border on so let's punch our border out this is a Martha Stewart border I'm not sure what it's called but it's a lovely lacy flower so pop that in the centre and punch down then move it across and let me um, zoom in on this so that you can see then you line up so that it matches up completely those little silver bits line up match up with the little holes and then punch the next section that sounds like that was the end yes so then we're going to go the other way Let's turn it around so that you can see and then again we're going to line up these little holes, there's like these silver pieces on, oh, sorry, there's these silver pieces on here, so we're going to line the holes up with the silver. Let's just try and find them, that's always the key. Where is it? There. There we go. And punch down, and there we go. And then we've got that lovely lacy border. Okay. okay so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this lacy border and we're going to attach it so that it just pops out the bottom of this piece here that I'm going to do. Just for your interest, the, way, the, the reason I picked this is, is actually, if you look at the strawberry, it's a two-sided piece. So I just thought it was quite nice and that the colours match together. So that was part of the reason to use it. So I'm um, using my little glue runner here. I'm going to put a piece of glue across the top of this yellow piece. And then on the bottom of the piece here so that when I put them together you'll definitely have all the pieces stuck and then I'm just going to do a tiny little piece down the sides and as usual I'm getting stuck up <laughs> okay and then just pop that sorry pop that there sure it's straight okay to our white piece of card so taking our glue runner again And then attaching it now I'm lining it up on one side and then we're going to cut it the other side to fit 
that's just a little bit high. Let's just take that down a little. There we go, that's better. Now I never, with things like this, I don't like to completely match it up because you never ever get it exactly the right size. So that's why I always do it a bit longer and then cut it to size afterwards. So then we just take our scissors and cut down this edge. There we go. Now we need to add our ribbon. And we're going to use the cheetah method. One side. Then the other. And I'll do, I've got another piece here which I'll use to do our little bow knot, but I won't do that at the moment until I've done the rest of it so we know where to put it exactly. Okay, the next thing is that we're going to pop this onto the base card. Okay, using our blue runner again. all those edges making sure that we're centering the card like so and pop it down okay so then the next thing we need to do is add our strawberry so with this I'm going to put this part of the strawberry flat and then I'm going to pop dot this part up. That's the plan anyway. But actually, I quite like it like that. So I think I might actually do the whole lot flat. Okay, so getting our zig two-way glue. I'm just going to... All over it and then pop that make sure it's in the center That's not. that's better Okay, I've decided that I would actually pop dot that up, so I've just put 3D foam on the back and then I'm just going to line this up. Now of course normally with this you have the, the feature has got that sort of blackout behind but I just felt that it would just be something just a little bit different to not have that. Okay, so we've got that like so. Then we've got some lovely little pretty gems. So we're just going to pop those where the little holes were that would have had the black showing through. I'm going to put little gems. So using my craft knife I'll just pick off a gem and then start popping them into place. Let me just zoom in a little bit for you.
Okay, so there's that bit done. Next, we're going to put the ribbon on. I think we're going to have it this side. So we're just going to do a, just a plain and simple knot. Like so. Get the scissors. Cut. Just at an angle. a bit long. <laughs> there we go. And what sometimes I like to do with these bigger um, bows and things is to put a little glue dot. I've just put them on my scissors, attach it to that, and then I can stick the knot where I want it to be rather than it keep moving like so lastly we just need to put a stamp on now I've got these pink my pink stamper stamps fruit and veggie puns so we're gonna put one of those on and I've got this lovely pink from Colourbox, it's actually just called Colourbox Pink so and then on my rocker block so we just ink that up and this is the point where we hope for the best and I think we're just going to put it down in that corner there and it's moving And there we go. Sweet. Okay guys, thanks very much and hope to see you again soon. Bye.